Hi guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video and happy 2024 to everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video to find out what we're doing. So this is the December PG palette. And um, they actually called this the project box. And last I looked, it still was available on the website. Um, cannot guarantee that it will be. So I got it. We got two decals. And then um, there's like these heart shaped, almost, um, I don't know, <laughs> heart shaped glitter. And then that Lady Lavender, I already have that. So that's nice to have in my stock. And then as if a very pretty um, opaly, and then this galadiel, I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's like this silver shift, but it also has pink and purple and all the other different colors. And then we also got from the Olives Outlet, Thompson, stunning um, purple. So we got this keychain that came with a little decal for it and the shape of the acrylic matches the um the decal and it comes with the um keychain everything you need to put it together and we also got this spatula and a pen which would be fun to do in a peachy olive glitter stir stick. Love the metal sticks. And they also sent us a mat. Um, you can never have too many of these. So after a while of deliberating um, what I wanted to use, um, I definitely was going to use this Galadiel. Galadiel? I don't know. And the New Year Same Hot Mess decal but I knew I also kind of wanted to add maybe this pink and some of the Lady Lavender and the light purple. I ended up just using it all, except for the heart shapes. And um, this is where I messed up. I thought I was recording, it was not of course, but I'm gonna show you, kind of go through the steps of what I did. So the first thing I did is I used the Gladiol Glad I ate it all, I don't know, all over the entire tumbler. And then I took the Lady Lunk and sprinkled it in just kind of like a circular motion on the front of the tumbler. And same with the As If. And that As If has, almost has like an orange pink shift. It's really, really pretty. And then, um, like I said, I used this all over the whole tumbler. And then I took that Thompson and it's a fine cut. So I sprinkled it all over the tumbler so that anything that was missing will have that covered but I still wanted to bring in some more of that pink. So I went to my shelves and grabbed out, um, I'm gonna show the color, Slay All Day. Um, and this was from a peachy palette a while back. Um, and it's just stunning. So I'm just going over this entire tumbler again so that anything that is missing these pink will f you know, fall into that spot. And I did use the epoxy method to apply this glitter. I'm just going to tap off any excess. And then I'm going to use the parchment paper and roll my tumbler on it because there is quite a bit of chunky on this and I want it to lay as flat as possible so that I won't have to do 100 epoxy coats. But once this is dry, I do seal it a couple times with the rest of clear coat, give it two coats of epoxy. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my rim and um, I'm going to put the decal on. Now, I also cut out 
um, leopard print. Um, I really wanted to use the purple to pink um, shift opal vinyl and I thought this would be perfect for it. So I cut out like just a whole thing, a whole bunch of the leopard spots and um, this is a thicker of vinyl so it was not exactly fun to, to uh, weed. So I'm going to place these um, kind of a little bit at a time because I don't want it to cover the decal, but I do want it to go around the decal. And you can see how the opal vinyl shifts colors and it looks so nice with this glitter and the decal. So I'm gonna continue to put all of these um, leopard print stripes, no, not stripes, <laughs> leopard print all over the cup. And um, I also do some reverse weeding just to make it easier to put on the cup because like I said I was struggling getting this um, weeded
And of course, you don't want to forget the butt. I am going to seal this with a CC DIY quick coat um, after I cut off the excess from the top and give it two final coats of epoxy and this is all done and I just love it. It's a simple tumbler to start with and um, yeah, I think it turned out great. This will be available on the website if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a great big thumbs up. And I can't wait to see what the new year brings us all. Bye, guys.